Hello everyone. Uh, in this session, we are going to solve uh, the some of the problems on the disposal of effluents. So, what happens uh, whenever this waste water is uh, disposed into the natural streams or rivers? So, whatever the concentration of the sewage as well as the concentration of the river is different. So, during that condition, so what may be the concentration is nothing but or the, what is the BOD. Uh, that is biological oxygen demand or the um, chemical oxygen demand and the uh, DO that is dissolved oxygen content in the mixture as well as the separate uh, the effluents as well as the river concentration need to find out whenever the waste water is disposed into the rivers or streams. So in this uh, session, we are going to discuss uh, some of the important problems on uh, the disposal of effluents. So one thing you just clear with that, uh, the disposal of effluents, the problems means you need to calculate. So what is the concentration of the mixture whenever the effluents has been uh, discharged into the river? So what may be the mixed concentration of DO, CO and uh, the chemical oxygen demand for the uh, make sure whenever it has been mixed with the, the river water. So based on that we need to solve the sum of the problem. So let me move for the problem here. So you can observe here. Uh, so here there is a problem. A sewage of town is there. You just uh, go through this problem. The sewage of town is to be discharged into the river or a stream is nothing but a sewage concentration is there it has been discharged into the river right so the quantity of sewage produced so means how much quantity the sewage had it has been discharged discharged into the river is it is 8 million liters clear 8 million liters of sewage has been discharged into the river and its bod is 250 mg per liter so is nothing but what 250 mg per liter is the BOD of sewage. Clear? Then if the discharge into the river of 20 liters per second. So 20 liters per second is what? So it is the discharge of a river. Clear? The discharge of a river is 20 liters per liter. And the BOD of river. So that is biological oxygen demand of the river is 6 mg per liter. Find out the BOD of diluted water. So one thing you need to clear here. Here there is a river uh, that is there is a sewage water is there and the stream is there. 8 millions of liters is the quantity of sewage and the BOD of that sewage is 250 mg per liter and river having the discharge of 20 liters per second and its BOD is 6 mg per liter. So now whenever the effluent has been discharged into the river, so what may be the concentration of that mixture that is diluted water BOD you need to find out here. So this is what the problem. So first thing what you need to do uh, here whatever uh, the discharge of a uh, sewage it has been given it is in terms of million per liters. So but other uh, whatever the uh, the units are there it is in terms of liters per second so therefore for the conversion purpose you need to convert this 8 millions per liters into the liter per second clear so you have to multiply with the 8 into 2 6 and it has been divided by 24 into 16 to 6 in order to convert the liters into the liters per second so now you need to write uh, what are all the given data the quantity of river is given right so that is qs it has been represented by discharge of a river it is represented by qr is given it is how much 200 liters per second and the bod of a river and sewage is given the bod of sewage is 250 mg per liter it has been given it is represented by cs that is bod concentration of sewage cs indicates what bod concentration of sewage and bod of the river is given it is 6 mg per liter so these are all the uh, the given quantities so now what you need to do you need to calculate the bod concentration of the diluted mixture clear 
So this is what the standard formula that we had used to calculate the concentration of the BOD. So that is Cs into Qs plus Cr into Qr divided by the total quantity of mixture. Cs is nothing but the BOD of sewage. Qs is nothing but the sewage quantity. And Cr is the BOD of the river and Qr is the, the discharge of a river. So all the data has been given here. Just need to substitute the values. Then you will get the BOD of diluted mixture. Clear? So that is only you need to calculate here. The BOD of the diluted mixture is what? Using this formula you have obtained. That is 83.21 mg per liter. So this is how you are going to calculate the BOD concentration of the mixture whenever the sewage has been disposed into the some natural streams. So the one more problem is there here, uh, the somewhat a slight uh, modification has been done. So in the above example, what should be the river discharge? So they have been asked to find out what is the discharge of a river if the desired to reduce the BOD of diluted water is 20 mg per liter. What it mean? So we are having this equation, right? So in this equation, if the BOD of diluted water is 20 mg per liter is nothing but the C value, the concentration of the diluted uh, mixture is 20 mg per liter. What may be the discharge of the river? The river's calculation you have to do. So they have given the total BOD concentration of the mixture is 20. So if it is 20, what may be the discharge of a river? QR you need to calculate here. So in the entire equation, QR is the unknown. So you have to substitute the total BOD of the mixture as a 20 mg per liter. So then you can easily calculate what is the quantity of river whenever the BOD of the mixture is 20 mg per liter. Like this, uh, you need to solve uh, the problems on the calculation of the BOD concentration of the mixture whenever the sewage has been discharged into the streams or a natural rivers. Thank you.